Hey YouTube, this is Gannon. I don't normally do this vlog thing. I think I've done a couple, but um, I haven't really gotten around to doing this. I did like a quick 30 second video of a couple of my collectibles, but I guess I might as well point a few of them out that I've collected over the years. Um, recently had my computer die on me. It's failing to read the hard drive, so I gotta get a brand new setup, pretty much. Um, I'm probably gonna get a tower instead of a laptop this time. I ended up getting this $800 Toshiba. Uh, I wouldn't recommend getting that brand at all, in my opinion. If you're actually going to get a rig where you can actually edit videos on, get something that will, you can actually modify and alternate over time. I think we've had that laptop for like two and a half, almost three years. It's not bad, but... Anyways, uh, my setup's kind of a mess. <laughs> uh, the previous video, which was 30 seconds long, I was in a different apartment. I had it set up for like months. I've been here for about maybe three weeks to the most and I've only put up just some basic stuff so it's on the floor and I also got some as you guys call it roommates a cat and a dog <laughs> that's a that's a Cora right over there is Tatum and then of course there's Cortana uh, I understand these are not collectibles but I'll get to the point um so I guess I could say I my love for collecting started with this big plaque up here uh, When I went to PAX I picked up this plaque. I had no signatures on it. It was completely blank And I spent five years going around to every single Bungie event since 2008 to get signatures on it It's got uh, Jen Taylor, which is Cortana, Steve Downs, Master Chief I believe the Arbiter came out the voice actor. the Arbor signed it uh, I had Pete Peter stacking or Pete uh, God, I can't remember his last name. Peter Stacking, I believe, sign it. He's the voice actor of um, Captain Keys and a bunch of other staff members. Um, there's the original day on it from those signatures right there. Uh, this was the Halo 3 mall art that they were selling at PAX, I believe, and like to the uh, before the release of uh, Halo 3. So, um, yeah, that all started everything. And then I got my Bungie swag bag. These are... There's only 777 of them. Uh, this I did the same thing. I started getting it all signed with a bunch of the original uh, Bungie members that were at the, um, where I've actually been at Bungie for like five or ten plus years. There's Irk, I believe Deej is on it towards the top. I got Jason Jones to sign it. He's the co-founder of Bungie. Um, and of course there's an action sack. They're kind of pretty much like, a, they kind of look alike, but one's a lot smaller, but this one comes with a bunch of games in it. Uh, I guess you call this the Master Chief character key. Uh, there's only a thousand of these. I don't really collect these that often, but uh, if it's anything Bungie related, I really, I really want it. Um, so I just kind of started my work my way up. I'm gonna work my way over to the left here. Uh, Rubik's. If you bought something at PAX, you got this for free. Recently got this. Recently, this is a big giant Griff ball. It's a plushie. Uh, give me a second. Hey, you two, play. You guys are going into kennels. Got it. The cat and dog are friends, but right now I don't want to deal with that crap. Um, anyways, yeah, this is a Griff Ball um, that I got from somebody on from Facebook, some collector group, uh, Halo Collectors. Uh, I believe, what was it? Uh, it was 2009 or 2000, no, actually, I want to say 2010. They were selling those red versus blue, they selling a bunch of these because they were pretty big in Griff Ball. I believe, or no, it was Griff Ball Hub, I believe it was what it was. Um, I got a little uh, Mr. Chief that was Frank O'Connor's design when he was with Bungie when he first started when they were doing Halo at the time. Uh, Bungie sunglasses, which I got when I went to the uh, Destiny 2 launch slash PAX event. A um, couple of uh, cards, thank you cards from Bungie. A uh, sticker, a spanker box, if you don't remember, Halo, Halo Rockets came from this, which was also an Easter egg from Marathon. Uh, Cade collectors. I got a collector's uh, grunt plushie from uh, what was it? Halo Fest. These helmets are actually all different, but I want to move everything. I guess I could show you. Um, I'll move this buster out of the way. This is a bungee helmet. This is different. There's a bungee, there's a launch event helmet, and there's also a Mountain Dew one. This one here's a bungee one. This is a Mountain Dew one. This is a regular one. Regular ones have the small little numbers on them that look like that. Um, the rarest one would probably be the number one, seven, and the Bungie uh, launch event Halo helmet. So these are all three different variants. They're not the same. Uh, 
Actually, that's a yeah. We all know what that is. I'll we'll try to get our points and experience for that. That was, in my opinion, it was a waste of money. <laughs> uh, bought stuff at PAX 2006 or 2016. Uh, you got these there for free. I believe you got uh, bought over like $35 worth of stuff. You got this uh, Halo 3 bracelet. Uh, this is a promotional item, so I didn't get rid of it. You can't find them anywhere. It's the only one I've actually ever seen. Two spinners, which are still in the bag, and they go for quite a bit. Uh, some guy at um, PAX gave me this. Uh, my grandpa was in the Air Force, so I guess it, he gave me that. Just kind of out of like respect. But um, thank you to him, because you didn't really have to. It's not bungee related, but um, if you guys don't know, 1UP. I believe it's 1UP, Stack 1UP, or something like that. They are a support group for veterans. Uh, you guys should definitely support them. Uh, I've got Rock Love piece. I believe this is the Ikora. This is the Ghost. Hey, get away from my stuff. This is the Ghost. I guess I can open it so I can show you guys the inside. They're worth, this right here is $130-something. It's got a little jewel in it. I'm not sure if it's real or not, but... Bungie was, did a little contract with uh, Rock Love, and it's a cool little ghost pendant thingy. The other one was Ikora's necklace. Uh, that was at PAX as well, and I believe it sold out very fast. Um, got the Cade plushie, the ghost plushie. I want to get the city one, but I don't have enough money for it right now. My uh, Halo, I guess you would call this a heavy buster piece, or something like that, what do you call it? This is a gentle giant buster. They're actually pretty heavy. You can probably knock someone out with it. Pretty dope. If my uh, if I'm handling this camera really poorly, please let me know. Because I'll do a better job next time. <laughs> uh, some pens. These came in my uh, bag when I went to PAX. Pretty dope. This right here. Oh God, this took me forever to find. Uh, I paid a lot for this. $75. But I managed to collect all the Halo dog tags. Uh, these are every single one. Halo 2, 3, Reach, and the Halo 1 is below. Those are pretty cool. I guess I'll give you guys a better view for these. Uh, for people who didn't really play Halo and they're playing a lot of Destiny, um, if you played Reach, then you're definitely playing Destiny 1 as using the Halo Reach engine. Destiny 2, I believe, is an updated version. So, yeah, so you go Halo 1, Halo 2, Halo 3, and Halo Reach. The only way to get these was to go to the Bungie event, um, I believe, at the EMP in Seattle. The case didn't come with the case. This was from Japan. So, like I said, I collect a, a mixed variant. I'll get to the sword in a second if you guys are wondering what that is. Um, I got a mixture of things in here that I got. The lighting is bad, so... Excuse me for that. This is called Marketing Gold. This was a marketing gift that was handed out from... Uh, God, what was their... Oh, I can't remember what the company was called, but they were marketing something back in the day. 2002 or 2003. But they were handing these discs out for free. They're very hard to find now. They're worth a lot. Um, I got a press kit. Halo 2 press kit. These you can... Well, you can't even get these at all. These... This was a dumb find. I, I paid 100 bucks on eBay for this, and I guess I could show the inside. Press kits are what are used to uh, pretty much promote the game for people, uh, and they're very, very, sometimes they can be very expensive. I managed to get this signed by Mario Donald. I'm glad I got his signature before he left Bungie. His music is amazing. And I believe I got this signed by Jason Jones, the co founder of Bungie. I don't remember whose signature that is, and I feel terrible. Uh, at least Steve Scott, which was one of the original, um, I want to say he was maybe a lead at the time of working in Halo 2. Halo 2 didn't exactly have a big, um, they weren't exactly very populated when they were working on Halo 2. I believe they had maybe 200 members on the team. Actually, maybe like 150 to 200. It was a small Bungie team. And they used a lot of contractors from Microsoft because Xbox was Microsoft only. So yeah, that's a really cool piece. I showed Jason this knee. His little jaw dropped. I've only met Jason once, and I'm probably never going to see him again. <laughs> He's a really hard person to talk to. Uh, Best Buy sneak uh, exclusive. This is limited. No, I don't want to say it's limited edition, but these are kind of somewhat hard to come by. Best Buy exclusive, I guess. Um, 
get off my table cat. You are going to destroy my stuff. <sighs> I love you, but no. Stay away from my stuff. Stay away. Stay away. Away. I'm going to put you in your kennel if you keep coming over here. Marathon 2, I believe. No, it's Marathon 3. Stay out of my stuff. I got a special magnet for Halo 2 multiplayer. Uh, this took a while to find. You can't get in there. I blocked all the ways. My cat really wants to go in there. It's enough, dog. Yeah, this is pretty cool. I'm not going to go through everything. I guess I'll just kind of run through it. Halo 2 uh, display only. Uh, the display uh, boxes are actually very hard to find. Most of them you'll find are hard cases, so this had nothing in it. Um, this was selling on eBay. I don't know who did it, but I bought it. So technically, I technically probably can't have this, so if they say anything about it. Go. God, cat, you're going to ruin my stuff. Yeah, technically you can't have this, I don't think, but I paid for it, whatever. And it says number seven on it, which I don't know what that means. So. Uh, just got this overseas from Germany, I believe. I want to say this is Germany. No, I believe this was America. Yeah. Came with a t-shirt and a couple other things in it. I have my t-shirts all in a different box. Uh, some Destiny pens from PAX. Uh, some more pens in the back. Halo piece back there. Another Warlock. Um, another pen piece right here. No, I'm not opening this. The original Halo 1 for PC. Uh, these are, I won't say they're very hard to find, but if you get one, keep it. Don't open it. This is originally what Halo was going to, Halo was technically originally developed on a PC before it was on the Xbox. So, when devs develop the game, they're actually developed on the PC before a console. And of course, this was actually gonna be. This is actually hard to find. Halo Macintosh. This is brand spanking. Well, not brand spanking new, but it's like new. The guy used it once and then never used it again. Um, when I went to the Halo One event, I bought the game for the 360 and I got it signed. No, then. I believe that was at Random Town Center. A couple of Halo pins, I believe dog I think needs to go out in a little bit so let's speed it up. Give me a second guys. Come on, go to the room. Come here. Let me finish this video and then we'll go. Okay? Come on. Alright guys, sorry. Oh, taking care of a dog is like having a child. It's a real pain the pain in the ass, but they're they're lovable but they're a pain in the ass. I guess I'll kind of speed through a little bit of this. I got two special books, two Destiny books. Um, there's um, This was a fan-made book back here. It was the Grimoire book. My collector's edition of Destiny. Destiny collector's guidebook up there. I have some artwork in here. I guess I could take some of it out to show you some. Let's take a look. Do not bend. Is this all? I wonder this is like a variety of stuff. I like Halo and Bungie. I want to say it is. It's kind of hard to do with one hand. Let me put you guys down for a second. All right. Oh, oh my gosh. This is old. Um, I, this is when I didn't exactly take care of my stuff, but I pinned it to the wall like an idiot. So value and these are destroyed. I guess I'll keep it for old time's sake. Yeah, these are old Bungie prints when they were doing stuff at um, doing stuff in 2008 when they were promoting their DLC for Halo 3. And they're worth a lot, and look what I did. I didn't put them in the best care, of, which kind of makes me sad because these things were awesome. So I guess I'm, these are only for me to have. They don't really exactly have any value except emotional value. Uh, I met Jen Taylor, like I said before. Got her to sign this. It's pretty cool. Some more artwork from a book that I bought from uh, 343, I believe, which is pretty cool. Neat stuff. I like artwork. Got a friend who does a lot of artwork. Yep. Arts of Building World. Oh, the original. These things are dope. I wish I did not pin these in the wall like a dummy. But this was the original 
I don't know if you guys remember, uh, what was it called? Was it Bungie Pro back in the day? <laughs> uh, it's totally expired. <laughs> if you remember Halo 3, you could use Bungie Pro to get special um, like slots to put your videos in and stuff. I believe that is it for those. I'm going to put these over here for now because I want the cat to destroy them. I should probably walk her little dirty paws all over them. Set them to the side like that. I don't want to take everything out, so I guess I could like go through it like this. Uh, I got the signed when I was at. This is a mixture of Bungie and three four three members. A combination of the game that three four three or uh, the three four three put together a bundle sale for Halo Reach and um, Combat Evolved for the three sixty. I have a special. Ed Fry's did this. If you guys don't remember, but I think Ed Fry's put together the Bungie team back in the day. I want to say I'm right. That's his name. I could be wrong. But he put together a game for the Atari for Halo. And I don't see these on anywhere. You can't find these anywhere that I know of. They're very hard to find. Uh, closed Halo Wars. Uh, Rise of the Iron Disc. These are very rare to find as well. They were not in America. Someone over, uh, I believe, in Australia gave me this. And I'm very happy because it's super hard to find this. Very rare. I guess I could show you something that's very rare as well. This right here was only handed to Bungie, uh, Bungie team members who worked on Halo. This is called Halo the Movies. It's special. I've never opened it. It's coming I mean, from store. Just got little bends from the plastic on it. But overall, it's still new. I'm never going to open it. I could just probably find the video on YouTube, possibly, at some point. Whatever ends up there. Work our way down. I have two copies of Marathon. The lighting here is kind of bad, so work with me. Because I said this is just kind of a temporary setup. Uh, Marathon. Uh, these are the box sets. And then these are the three games right here. Marathon 1, 2, and 3. And here is an, a game that Bungie published, which was called Abuse. This is still factory sealed, a very rare game. Some books of the Halo games that I've collected over the years. Pathways in the Darkness. And some of my lanyards are in here. A lot of them, actually. All right, we're done there. All right, I'll get to the sword here um, in a second. Let's see, Hope for the Future. This was the vinyl for destiny one i don't see it anymore a press kit which plays music if you open it i have a preview of that already on youtube which you can watch um a little remote control of master chief the sword here was given to a friend who worked at bungie for about a year i think he was full time and then when he moved he just moved without saying nothing left a sword behind but gave me a message to go pick it up but pretty much when you work for Bungie, they honor you with a noob sword when you go full-time. They knight you, if you know what knighting is. And they give you a wooden sword, and I believe later on you could get a better one if you're there longer. <laughs> Pretty cool. So if you're an employee, you get one of those swords if you're full-time. Not a contractor or under some restrictions. Uh, Halo 3 Xbox. Behind it is the Halo 5 Xbox that I have right there. Uh, it's The box is signed. Halo 2... Um, I believe this is a doubled special promotion piece that they did together at uh, Gang Crazy back in the day. Uh, these cannot be found anywhere. This is still factory sealed. I've never opened it. See? Do not open. So this is very, that's probably worth a lot. But I'm not selling it because I like my Halo 2. And if you want, you could just get the remastered edition anyways for the 360 digitally or the Xbox One digitally. This here is another press kit. This is a suitcase. I guess I will open this for you guys. Um, when I got it, it was scratched, damaged, but these are very, very rare. I believe these are, yeah, these are extremely rare. Let's go and open it, shall we? It came with a key. Uh, it came with a special helmet. This is a special helmet code that I have not used. If you guys remember, the the rarest uh, the rarest Bungie avatar item is this code right here, which this is still closed, and it was a Halo Reach Noble Six helmet, which is very 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 you can't even download it in the Microsoft Store. It was limited to Bungie only, like Bungie 
didn't even really hand them out that often. Uh, came with an extra controller and a buck and the game, but the game's not in here and a set of keys. There's locks on it. And I'm gonna have to end my video soon because the dog is probably gonna go dookie. <laughs> Puppies that have a really weak bladder. <laughs> um, I guess I could do a quick display here of what I got my setup is. I had my laptop hooked up to that second monitor. My gaming monitor is right there. And I use the Kinect to talk sometimes because I don't like using my headset. I want to get a wireless one. Kinect doesn't sound too bad if you're near it. And if you're not into a big of a room or if you get some boxes and you kind of block yourself in. I use a snowball mic. I don't talk that much, believe it or not. Um, basic controller, I don't really care for. Uh, the Elite controllers or tabs on the back because I can use Claw Finger. Thank God Super Smash Brothers for teaching me that and Halo 2. Uh, a Halo 2 promotional poster. These uh, are these were not for sale. These here were promotional pieces only. This is a misprint uh, right here. This is right here, September date to uh, September 8th, 2017. And of course, it would end up being September 6th, so it's a misprint. Halo 3 poster. Uh, this is damaged. That's the way I got it. So I got it flattened. And it's an original. So up there you can see like the lines on the side. This is an original print. This, so all the other posters that look like this came from this poster. It's I kept it this way because of its originality. So I framed it. It looks ugly. It looked ugly when I didn't frame it. So I had to get it framed. And I had signatures on it. And by the way, Michael Williams, I know who you are. <laughs> Um, Halo Fest, went to Halo Fest and grabbed this. I gave some away. I sold like maybe one to pay my phone bill one time. Fortunately, I kind of wish I kept them, but they're awesome. Uh, Master Chief in a Bubble Shield, Halo 3. I got a Ghost, uh, the Ghost Edition, which is also in the back right there for the Xbox. I got another Ghost as well from San Diego Comic Con. The cool thing about this Ghost is, is it's signed. I took it to get it signed and hand it out over to other people. Let's see if I can open it. I guess. Yeah, there's signatures on it on all sides. You can see Deej signed right there. It's pretty cool. And I think this is my cue. I'm gonna wrap it up, guys. My dog is gonna probably literally crap herself and I'll clean it up. Uh, three ghosts. Destiny uh, limited or collector's edition for the PS4. It's unopened. Uh, this is a piece from GameStop. This is a helmet, a June's helmet for. I can't think it came with some T-shirts and stuff. Back here, some Halo 4 stuff. This was the vinyl limited edition. Got it signed. You even got Steve Downs, the Master Chief, signed it as well. And I think that's that's all I can really show you. That's all I have really set up for now. So. That's it. Sorry if I was a little wobbly with the camera and the lighting was bad. I don't really exactly have a light in this part of the apartment. So I'll talk to you guys later and hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you want me to do a second one where I have it all displayed, I'll do that. Just let me know. You guys have a good one.